Hello and welcome to another video from PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and this app that is going to be a just general introduction to a braining camp app called Pattern Blocks or it is an app for Pattern Blocks that is from the company Braining Camp and I really like it. I love Pattern Blocks. I love using Pattern Blocks when I'm teaching young children and, and working with future teachers and current teachers. And uh, So just a general overview and introduction to this app, You the, the default settings is um, it, it has this kind of hexagonal grid going to where it's going to lock in. The shapes that come out are transparent and they lock into this, um, this setting, this grid here. And you can go to the settings themselves down at the bottom left and you can change this. So here's our kind of triangular hexagonal kind of grid, the triangular grid. You can change the grid to a square grid and you can do things like coordinate plane or you can take the grid off totally. And I, I like working without the grid. It, it helps build an understanding of the concept behind it. However, if you're doing the triangular grid, then you can actually automatically see that six triangles make up the whole in your hexagon, meaning that one triangle, the green triangle itself, is going to be um, one sixth of the of the yellow hexagon, and it would be one fourth of this black shape here. Now, uh, another another aspect of the settings is you can have it snap to the corner, snap to the center. Now, notice one thing while we're in this triangular grid. If I click on it and I do my rotation, you select a point, or I'm sorry, select an object, you can press in the corner on the rotate, and it rotates. Of course, this one you can't really see because it, it all rotates and just overlaps itself, but here the triangle rotates, and it pretty much does 180, 180 kind of uh, rotation, and this shape we rotate here going along that hexagonal kind of it rotates one triangle over and it's really neat to talk about trans transformations and things like that with young students in this app now those rotations change when you are changing your grid pattern now here's a rotation it's going to rotate a little bit slower or it doesn't rotate as many degrees uh, with each rotation and same thing for no grid the rotations are the same where they are rotating only partially uh, um, or not as not as much if you will not as many degrees uh, as previous the other were, were 60 degree turns and so these are I believe maybe 20 degree turns to yeah I think that's what it is 20 degree turns so uh, and then in the settings we can make the shapes opaque so they're solid and then when one overlaps another you don't see through it uh, and order is important, so whenever the piece was placed onto the board, um, uh, like I moved the black one on top of the yellow hexagon, but then I can take the yellow hexagon and move it on top of, all right, come on, you can do it. I guess not. So forget what I just said. I thought it could. And then another thing on the settings here, we gonna we can change the color, and we can make that the default color. I'm gonna hit cancel there. We can also grab the pins down at the bottom, which are like your smart board pins, and we can write on it. We can erase the last thing drawn, or we can click and hold and clear all of the drawings. And same thing with the shapes themselves. Oh, it'll keep writing whenever you have the pen up, so we can clear the writing clear all and then we can press clear all down here and that clears all the shapes or we can have a shape and then we can drag it to the trash can and it makes a nice little trash can sound uh, and then lastly we can zoom in and out by pinching and so we can have a larger workspace if we need one and then we can zoom in if we um, if we need to zoom in some more so here's just the basic introduction to the to this app uh, and uh, I really like it. Uh, it's a good one, uh, and uh, I like working with pattern blocks. So thanks for watching. This is PyPad Mathematics, and I am Professor Lamb.